Back again, and today I'm going to show you how to fit a 12 volt battery to a caravan or a camper tra trailer. In this particular case, it's a 12 volt we're fitting, so it'll run all your auxiliary lighting as well as your fridge. So I'll just take you inside and show you what we've done. In this particular case, we've decided to fit it inside under the seat and in this particular case I've fitted it in the middle of the van and between the, the two wheels on top of the axle so that's where it is there we've fitted a 130 amp hertz deep cycle AMG battery and all I've done is made some brackets out of angle line brackets out of aluminium to hold the battery in its spot one will be running one way and one will be running the other way so what I've done is I've run six mil cable with a fuse a fusible link here I've also taped a spare fuse just in case I've made it so it can be unhooked just in case for future we want to add something to it and I've also given extra cabling it's all heat shrunk with convoluted tubing and all that does is go through the floor and silicon from underneath now I'll show you what we've done underneath okay so what I've done is, as you can see, the wires come through the floor. I've added a bit of silicon so no bugs can get in or any water. And we've earthed it to the chassis. So the wire has been run along the side on the existing harness and ran through the chassis. I'll show you what I've done up the other end. So this is where the wire has come through the chassis, that's the existing wiring loom which runs a trailer plug and I've ran it through the chassis and in this case the black wire is your auxiliary power wire so I've soldered it on there and we'll be taping that up and taping the whole system, putting it back through the, into the chassis and grommeting back in. Now I'll show you how to find the black wire in your plug. Now what I've done here is I've opened the plug up. This is the trailer plug and you can see all the wires. Now the black wire is your auxiliary and as you can see there are a lot more in there. So the yellow would be your left indicator, the green is your right the brown is your park, the red is your brake light, the white is your earth, the blue wire will be electric brakes and as we said the black wire is auxiliary power. So all I've done is connected a 12 volt source to that and for, for example with a set of leads and a battery I've connected the earth of the leads to the neck there and then I've connected the black wire to the positive side. Then I've checked inside and I found that the lights, auxiliary lights were working. So then you just as easy as tracing the wire back. In this case it runs inside the chassis here, just follow it down into the spot you saw. Now once you've done all that, we've connected the battery, I'll show you how that works. Now back inside the van, we've connected all the batteries up, everything's connected. I'll screw that down in a second, and just before I screw it down, we'll test the lights. In this case, that switch 
the white switch is 240 volt and the black switches are 12 volt so I'll just go ahead and try it out and as you can see there is power I've got another one up this side turn him off and that'll also run your 12 volt system or your fridge and whatever is 12 volts just to show you if I were looking at the light I'm going to undo that negative so that's how it's done now it's a matter of just screwing it all down, make sure everything is secured, tightening all your terminals, and that's it. Thanks for watching, keep your eye out for more videos.